Hey there everybody. In uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the Faramond friction hitch. It is an adjustable friction hitch that is meant for when you are going to make a line under tension that, you know, which has a length that's going to be needed to be adjusted periodically. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. So it starts, you have an anchor point here. It can be anything whatsoever, but I'm just using this ring here. So you go through and give yourself a good amount of slack on the working end. And then you go round and bring it through the middle like this so it'll look like that and then next you're going to take this bite of rope here and start looping it around as if you were making a prusik. You can go around um, as many times as you want depending on how much friction you need or depending on what type of rope, how slippery the material is, you might need more wraps. Um, I find that for smaller cordage, two is usually enough, but um, I'm going to do three just because it's my personal preference for a rope this size. So, okay. Now that you've tied this, make sure everything is aligned the way it's supposed to be and then the final step is to take a bite of rope on the working end and slip it through this hole here So now you have something that looks like this. Now just kind of get the extra slack out of the the wraps on the Prusik type area. So that it grips nicely. And there you have it. Now, under tension, this isn't going to go anywhere. Um, but if you needed to make it longer, you could push this up. If you needed to make it shorter, um, you could pull this down like this, add length to it. And what's great about it is when you're done, you just pull it and off you go so as usual I will tie that one more time for you bring it through give yourself a good amount on the working end then take it bring it around and then oh I'm sorry Oh yeah, through. Okay. So, all you do now is you wrap 
One, two, add a little more, three, get everything organized. So I need to do it one more time. One more wrap. All right. So I've got three wraps. And oh, wait, what did I do here? Oh, I did four wraps. I'm sorry. Down to three. All right. So I've got something that looks like this. And the next step is to get a bite of rope right here and put it in like that. It's nice to make sure you don't put it in like off center, like twisted like that, like this because then this is gonna cross over. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but I like things to be neat and oriented properly, so have it this way. In theory, it should function better if everything is organized the right way. So, oh, you know what? What am I talking about? I didn't do enough wraps, I'm sorry. I don't want to make another video, so just excuse my mistake. Okay, I was right the first time. So. Three wraps. Alrighty. Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Alright, um, so. Take the bite, put it in, tighten everything up, and you're golden. So now you can increase length decrease length and while under tension let me just move my table um, this is gonna hold and when you're done I'll just show you how this looks from every angle it's actually a attractive looking hitch in my opinion but you didn't come here for my opinion. So, all right, when you're done, just let it rip and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like or consider subscribing. Thanks so much, have a good one.